Yes, lads, welcome back to another video. So, um, yesterday I tried to tint my brake lights with like film because you had some film left over, and I've tried it in the past but always rushed it. So, I tried it again yesterday, and it's literally impossible without buying like really, really good tint. Now, they should just bought like £10 tint off eBay. As well as it's shit, don't work. So, I'm going to take a different approach. So, I bought the um, smoke spray from Halford Street brake lights um, I did it on my last car and obviously that was just like my first car just messing about with it it came out matte so it didn't look good at all uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a different approach today I'm going to spray him with the tint and then I'm going to lacquer over the top and see if we can get that shiny finish so I've already got my brake lights off my car I just cleaned one off because I had spy tint on them when I first got them and it had loads of like circle sort of glue on it so i've got most of that off so we'll get to it we'll spray them and then we'll lacquer them and we can see if we can polish them up and get them nice and shiny so this is what we're using so here's my brake lights this one you can still see bits of like scratches in it i think it's just damaged to be honest because the scratches go into the plastic but this one's perfect so this one should come out really good so we've got the backlight spray there and we've just got some half of the lacquer which I picked some up while I was out so let's get to it lads So I'm going to let that sit for about uh, 10 minutes, make sure it dries properly. Not much of a difference yet, but I suppose with more layers it will sort of go darker. Um, and then we'll lacquer over the top and it should come out with a good finish if we lacquer it. It will fill in all the bits that you know look uneven, it should give us a nice smooth finish. So this is what they look like now. I've already put the final coat of the tint on and now we're just going to go over with some clear lacquer, sort of smooth it out, make them a bit shiny. So lads, what happened in this video is uh, I, uh, I ended up lacquering them and it went really really bad. Like because I didn't realise that the tint already had lacquer in it. So I've cut all that out. Basically what happened was I had to... Uh, strip them completely because it all reacted 
so I stripped it and then I bought some more and uh, but they came out the same as where I left this video off from so I just kept that first bit of me spraying it and then uh, just added on a bit of um bit of a show at the end of how they look on the car but yeah don't use lacquer definitely don't use lacquer it literally just it just reacted and bubbled and it, oh, it was awful I was so annoyed with myself I was like why did I just do that because it looked perfect and I went and wrecked them so I had to spend another like seven quid or eight quid or however much it was to get them redone it took me ages to get them off as well but I did find a good way to get them off so um I am going to post that video because I made a really short video on how to get them off and I uh, literally sp spray this stuff on you, wait for it to react for about five seconds and just get a cloth and wipe it and it just comes off straight away, it's amazing. But yeah, um, so this is my first time spraying them, obviously I sprayed them again but I've just, I didn't film that bit because it's basically the same process and I've just added on what they look like at the end. Well, I'll tell you, you have it finishing products, it looks... It looks very clean to be honest. Yeah. I still need to see what they look like at night. See if you're um well not at night, no, it's not really a problem because I know it'll show through, but actually I need to check during the day. So I need to just get someone to follow behind me to make sure that they're not like too dark. But it's looking good. I've done the refurb as well, so my car's looking really clean now. I've also refurbed these as well because I've loads of chips in them. So they're looking clean as well. Looking quite good lads. Getting ready to sell it. So if anyone watching this video is actually interested in getting one of these, I'm going to do a review on it first before I sell it. So um, I'll advertise it more during that. But um, I am looking to sell this. Uh, so if you are interested in buying it, just uh, add me on Snapchat or Instagram, whatever, and just message me and let me know. But yeah, it's time for something new, lads. I've done, I've done everything I want to do to this car. Um, I did want to lower it, but there's no point in lowering it now because I'm getting rid of it. That it's just going to waste 250 quid or thereabouts. But I've just been cleaning it up so it looks very nice, ready for someone to come take off my hands, sadly. But what I'm getting next is going to be sick, lads. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped some of you out. You know, subscribe, leave a like. There'll be the RX8 on hold at the minute. Can't really do much of that. Um, I'm waiting to hear off a guy who's offered for me to use one of his uh, locking tools for the flywheel. So we'll see what he says. Um, if he can help me out, that would be amazing. I can get it done so much quicker. It saves me making one. I don't even know how to make one. So yeah. Anyway, lads, stay tuned for more videos, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.